they really wish I could just play Trip Stars. I mean, they burn everyone, they lock your opponent down, they've got such quick cards, but they're not budget. Oh my god, these, these cost more than it takes for me to blow up the hospital. I just wish I had a deck that allows me to lock down my opponent, breaks their, you know, plays, has, gives me an unbreakable board, and is just so powerful. You're talking about heralds. What? Heralds, you know? The incredible deck that does everything you just said? What? Heralds. Joker, have you never heard of heralds? No, I've never heard of heralds. I haven't heard of a lot of things. I was talking about track stars. Have you guys seen this? Oh my god. Joker, stop looking at the camera. We're trying to have a conversation. Fine, I'll look at you. I'm looking at you, Warner. I'm looking at you. Okay. Joker? Yes? Don't be rude. I'm sorry. Would you like me to show you how it's? Yes, I would like you to show me how it's. You're gonna have to leave. How do I have to leave? Because you know the rules. Oh yeah. Fine. I'll leave. You show the people how it's. Allow him to show you how it's. See you next time, everybody. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> Let the good times roll! <laughs> So there you have it guys, that of course is the Joker, he's super annoying, but I'm even worse because I'm the Joker of Yu-Gi-Oh! Of course he did make a good point and did give me the idea to build this deck for you guys. Of course on a budget and it is the Herald's deck profile. Why? Because this deck is literally meta defining, meta beating, absolutely incredible, and it just gives you unbreakable boards as well as negates a lot of your opponent's stuff. And also with this particular build it gives you so much draw power as you'll see that, you know, you can get your hand with so much negates is just absolutely beautiful. But enough of me just talking about the deck, I have to show you the deck, and here it is, everyone. Here is the absolutely most budget, best, you know, I, don't, I won't even put best on the title, but is the budget best Herald deck profile. And it is because, you know, it gives you so much raw power. As you can see, I'm even running the Brilliant Fusion. As I've said in the past, you know, I said I would never put the Brilliant Fusion in any deck. I don't like it. But this deck broke me. It broke me into putting it in because it's so beautiful. Being able to get that extra summon is just absolutely helpful, and that's why I run it. Seriously, as you can see, I don't even need to go into every card because, as you will see, you can see it quite easily. I mean, you've got these beautiful cards, which gives you that extra draw. You've got the Fluffle Engine for that draw. You've got Gale Dogger to be able to send this card to the grave, which gives you a search. You've got Herald of Perfection because it's a Herald deck you just have to be running it. Double Banten because of the Recycle. The Preps, triple of both of them because they're just super beautiful. The Double Pot of Desires and one Upside Goblin as well as the Terraforming to search for your Ritual Sanctuary which gives you even more searches. This deck is just searching for days. It's just absolutely beautiful with the main deck and with the side you know, as you can see, I'm not even running a side, because when I was playtesting this deck, not once did I ever need to go into a side deck. Yes, there are a few cards that can be helpful, like if you're going up against a burn deck, hand water is absolutely beautiful for you. But if you lose the first game, you're going to be going second, and then into the third game, yeah, add hand water, because it can really help you out. But it also depends on what you're going up into your locals, and when I try and build these budget decks for you guys, you know, I don't think about, you know, particular locals, I think, you know, if you're going to side against something, comment down below, and of course, I'll be happy to help you. But that's why there's no side there. But with the extra, you've seen, you know, the double Herald of Arc. You've got, you know, you don't even need the Utopia package. I forgot to take that one out. I had, like, a whole Utopia package, but after realizing I don't even need it, I took it out. But, I mean, Ouroboros, I use it all the time. I don't even use Del Taurus, so if you don't get this, you don't have to run it. Illuminate is an extra ability, you know, switch out your hand, probably get a better draw. Castell, I don't even run this, I just want to show you guys, you know, you don't even need that. I seriously don't even go into that. Deco Talker, you know, you can run it, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. You don't need to run it either. Mrs. Radiant is just an extra plus as well, but this is probably the one that is absolutely more beautiful, because if you go, you know, Gale Dogra and you've got this on the field, and you want to go for Ouroboros, you know, you can go into Mrs. Radiant, and that's why it's useful. But literally, this is what you need for a budget Herald deck. Yes, you can put into the other cards, as I did show you guys before I took them out, but if you want to save money, you don't need to worry about getting them, and that's how amazing this deck is. This is all the deck is, and I really want to show you guys this deck 
really quickly. I really hope you did enjoy it. And of course, as always, comment down below what you guys want to see next. If it be deck profiles, if it be tips, if it literally be anything you related, you know, if I'm able to make it, I'm happy to make it for you guys, as long as it's appropriate, because I don't want to be taken down. But of course, that ends it for the deck profile portion of this video. I'm of course signing off now, but of course, before I do, here are those door videos as promised.